Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the day four update. Uh, I got the MRI results back from my GP and unfortunately it's not the best news and not the news I was hoping for. Um, but before I uh, read read out what the, what the uh, results were, <laughs> here's the update of the bruising today. It's even worse, um, it's very yellow. Um, and yeah, there's still not much on the pec at all, uh, a little bit more, but it's primarily migrating down the bicep. And uh, I think the results are gonna speak to what I was saying yesterday as to why there's a lot of blood pulling up in the bicep or on the arm. Uh, I'm just gonna read the findings here, but it says, the humeral attachment of the pectoralis major has been evolved with the tendon retracted over three centimeters. There is also a myofascial tear of the anterior body of the distal pectoralis major muscle belly. No tear of the clavicular head is identified. The sternal origin and medial portion of the pectoralis major have not been imaged. Pectoralis minor is intact. Its origin from the coracoid process is normal. And then they put down the conclusion, avulsion of the hum humeral attachment of the pe pectoralis major with attraction of tendon of approximately three centimeters my official tear of the muscle belly. So pretty much the tendon has detached from the humerus. Um, and then there was also another um, a minor, tear, uh, minor tear in the in the muscle, um, which I'm, I, I get, I, I'm not concerned about that one, given that the fact that the whole tendon is, is, is gone. Um, but at least there's a little bit more clarity around the recovery and rehab for this one. So, you know, I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the earlier updates, but if it's just, if it's just muscle and it's a significant tear, there's not, there's nothing you can really do because they don't really suture muscles um, together. However, um, the tendon uh, recovery is, is a known process um, down the, if, you know, if you go down the surgical route, which I do have a uh, consultation with an orthopedic surgeon on Wednesday, two days from now. It was actually the surgeon that I was um, recommended. I couldn't see him for, for two weeks because of the, the backlog. Um, but the receptionist who was who I was talking to actually said that she'll she'll speak to him and show him the MRI results. And then um, you know we got we got off the call. And then an hour later, I get a call back from another receptionist saying, "Hey, he'll see you on Wednesday." So uh, two day in two days time, they brought that forward, which was uh, really really good because. Yeah, I want to try and get the next next steps sorted uh, as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, it's, it's well, I'm, I'm fairly certain just based on on what I've read online about the same things that have happened to other people is the surgical approach is the is the one to go down, um, especially given my my age and and uh, active lifestyle. Uh, I want to try and get back to, you know, back to where I was um, as soon as possible and. It does seem like the surgery is is uh, the the way to go, and that you can get back to what you had prior. So that's what's going to give me hope. But unfortunately, it means uh, no training for for quite some time. Um, so I've, uh, the safety bar, safety squat bar comes tomorrow, but I don't think I'll be able to use it for for a little bit. But yeah, thanks for those that are following along. But I'm also hoping that I can be of. Uh, inspiration or also just you know following along the process as to as to how we go about healing this thing because yeah like i mentioned i've been watching other people's and it's definitely helping see what's involved and also shows the the light at the end of the tunnel that you know you can in fact get back to where you were and, and even stronger which is uh which is always going to be the goal so yeah thanks for everyone that follows along